WWE announced the lineup for all of their pay-per-views in 2021. Well, most of their pay-per-views. There are a couple of TBDs, which appear to be shows from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so February and October are for sure scheduled for Saudi Arabia, but they don't have the the dates yet. So, um, yeah, two shows during the year. And then um, the... September show, they're going to go Labor Day weekend, which is the same weekend as AEW does All Out. And it will not go head to head, most likely, almost for sure. I mean, I, was, I would go, so, I would say for sure, because of the time zone difference. Um, the plan is to run it. I mean, this is not a definite, but I know that um, they were talking to Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, and Wembley in, in, in London, and to run in one of those two buildings. And the idea of this was always the 30th anniversary of SummerSlam. So I don't know why they're not running SummerSlam there. They're running the September pay-per-view there over Labor Day weekend. And they were moving SummerSlam up to July 30th at at the uh, stadium, the 62,000. I think it's actually 69,000, but... um, but there's, you know, there's going, they're going to cut off, uh, you know, seats for the stage and everything like that. So it's like, but, but it's still, it could hold sixty thousand. That doesn't mean they're going to put sixty thousand in there, um, in Nashville, Tennessee. So um, they're doing six stadium shows as of right now, and um, dates are. Let me get the dates. January first, Atlanta State Farm Arena, day one pay per view Royal Rumble. You know, at the Dome in St. Louis. Which is selling, like, it's not like it's selling out or anything, and it will not sell out. It will not even come close, but there are over 20,000 tickets out, so it is selling well. Uh, February, Saudi Arabia, two nights WrestleMania, April 2nd, April 3rd. Tickets go on sale in November, uh, I think uh, just a couple weeks, and they're going to do uh, a discount if you buy both shows. Uh, I don't know how big the discount will be, but I know I was told that when they were in, uh, when they came to town, uh, whatever it was, in San Jose a couple weeks ago. And I would presume also that the decision means that all WrestleManias going forward, including like Hollywood the year after, will be two night affairs, which just makes sense. Um, there's real strong sentiment there that the two nights are far superior to one show. They understand that everyone complained about the length of the shows, and by doing two shows, you can do both in like three and a half hours, and um, or even four. And you can. It's. I mean, it's. It's. I I went you know to two nights of the Tokyo Dome. I did. I did not go to two nights of WrestleMania, but I did go to two nights of the Tokyo Dome, and it is tough. And it is, I mean, I remember being pretty tired during the second show. And yeah. I think, I think a lot of Let's people Let's think about were, the fans here. They have to spend two hours to get into the building for a three-hour show, then two hours to get out of the building, and then well, wake up the next day and spend two more hours to get into the building for a three-hour show, and then two more hours to get out of the building. Yeah, but the, the flip side is a seven-hour show, and that... No, that actually, the flip side is one show that's four hours. Well, they're not going to do that. They're going to do okay, two well, shows. Then, Plus, the other thing is, is that... From a financial standpoint, I mean, it's far superior because, um, you know, they're probably going to get 70,000, 80,000 people for the two shows. I mean, um, you know, I mean, the, the goal is 80. So the, and announce, they'll announce 100, but the goal would be 80 um, for the two shows. And that's 160,000 tickets sold as opposed to 80,000 tickets sold. And that's a lot more money. And it actually. Especially for WrestleMania, where they don't have like the big pay per view. Expecting anymore. eighty thousand a night for two nights. Yep. Mm. Well, we'll see. You how don't that think goes. they'll get it? I think they'll get it for well, WrestleMania. I don't think they're they're... going to get it. No. I think they'll get it for WrestleMania. Why? Why wouldn't they? I don't think you're going to get eighty thousand people going out there for two straight nights. Most of the people go for like four. Most people go for three or four days anyway. Well, so I will. Up. I will say fifty-five thousand each night. Oh, I think they're going to do much better than that. I think it's much better than 55,000. I mean, I, you know, I'm trying to think. Like, when they were there last time, they were pretty much, um, I mean, there weren't there weren't tickets available at the end. I mean, that, that 80,000 was pretty much an advanced number. I mean, you know, it was, it was like weeks out. It was, 
I mean, it was actually like 85,000 tickets a couple weeks out, but it was 80 in the building because essentially, essentially what happened is, is that uh, there are people who bought secondary market tickets that couldn't unload them. So that's why like the actual number, the paid was not, I mean, the paid was like the last time in Dallas, the paid was like 79,800. The number of tickets out was, I mean, in theory, 85,000, although I also heard it was a little bit more than that, but whatever. And then the number in the, the actual number in the building was, I think it was 80,789. So, um, and they announced 101,736, I think was the number they announced. So that's the, the gist of it. Um, but yeah, no, they're expecting to, do, they, they got that the first time, um, coming back in four years. But it's WrestleMania. Um, and also, I think one of the things is, is they feel there's going to be a, a pent-up demand because a lot of people who go to WrestleMania didn't go last year because they only had 20,000 each night last year or this year. Well, yeah, this year. Hmm. So, well, I mean, that's interesting because we haven't really seen a pent-up demand for shows since they've gone back on the road, which I actually thought was going to happen, but it didn't. Well, they did pretty well at first. Now it's... um average i would say um like houston this was second show in houston i don't i don't have the number in front of me but i know they were well over nine thousand um tickets out and you know probably over seven thousand paid for tonight and probably well over seven thousand paid so um which is you know okay i wouldn't call it great you know hot when houston's a very good city for wrestling so if it was hot they would be close to sold out but it's not cold or anything like that it's it's okay um but at first they did they did well in a lot of cities at first um you know not not great but it's not the popularity of the product is not at the great level you know i mean it's at that's, the okay that's my level. point <laughs> so the idea of pent-up demand is going to boost this wrestlemania i mean maybe it will but i will I just, go on record here fifty-five thousand each night yeah, I think they'll do better. It's WrestleMania, and um, even when wrestling is cold, WrestleMania does very well. Um, the name is just one of those things, and people, may, you know, it's just one of those things. And I think that, like, even long, even, like, when the th when the product does get cold, if there's another cold period, um, WrestleMania will be the one thing that will hold up um, longer than, you know, anything else. Um, just they've got that name built up for like decades as, as like this big time special event. It's not even the card. It doesn't even matter what the card is. You know, people just want to go to travel to the city every year. And there's enough of them that, uh, I mean, the, I'm trying to remember like the last time, I mean, like when they were here, they were what were they like seven thousand shy of a sellout but it was still almost sixty thousand people and they announced 76 i think i think they had 67 in the building 59 59 8 paid but um announced 77 whatever it was i think that's how it was but this was this was that's about as weak as it's gotten i think that like the last time there was a wrestlemania that didn't sell well was i can't even remember how long it was you know i mean like they're not always sold out, but it's it's always I'm um it's always a strong number, you know, well over fifty thousand. So, um and Dallas is a strong city. So I think they'll do um very strong you know, all of Texas is a very strong WWE market. I think they'll do very well. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.